Hello everyone, today at Sense Academy we are going to learn about scanning networks. So <clears throat> let me uh, let's move further. Scanning network and overview. Network scanning identifies active devices, open ports and services in a network to assess its security and structure. Techniques like ping sweep and port scan using tools such as nmap detect vulnerabilities. It aids in troubleshooting, security assessments and proactive management, ensuring network stability and protection against threats. So uh, we need to scan networks so that we can identify uh, what, what all ports are open, what are the types of services that, that are being used on those ports, what are their versions and if, if we are able to find any vulnerability, can we exploit it? and if it is exploitable how how can we patch it so this is why we need to scan network and ports you know for security assessment now the tool which i will be using for this video will be nmap and metasploit okay and nmap is an open source tool which comes pre-installed in kali linux and it it can help you to scan networks identify ports and map has its own scripts that that you can run against a target then you have zenmap zenmap also comes pre-installed in kali linux and zenmap is just a graphical user interface of nmap so you guys can also use zenmap for network scanning if you want the message is also a tool uh, which is used for vulnerability assessment uh, identify security weaknesses in systems and networks uh, however, Nessus is a paid uh, paid tool. You can use the free version as well, but you know it's better to use something that has uh, some kind of you know benefit. So you can see the prices of Nessus as well. So it's it's expensive as well. OpenVAS is also an uh, also a tool that you guys can use to identify uh, vulnerabilities and security issues present in networks and systems. Oh, and OpenVAS also has a paid version of it, which is better than the open source one. So you guys can use OpenVAS as well. Then Metasploit. Uh, now Metasploit is a tool which comes pre-installed in Kali Linux and it has some of the scripts, some of the exploits that you can run against target to identify weaknesses and you know, uh, identify weaknesses uh, in systems and networks. So this is an exploitation tool. It, it has so many uh, scanners, mm -hmm. so many experts in it that, that you guys can use. Okay. So let me let me go back to my Kali machine. Let me open my Kali machine. Okay. So now I am in my Kali machine and you know I have opened the terminal. Let me let me just maximize the size of the terminal so so it can be visible to you guys as well. So I will be typing nmap h to open the help menu and these are all the types of methods that you guys can use to uh, to you know uh, to scan the target to scan a network so we will be uh, using some of some of them okay not all of them but yes we will be using some of them so nmap and you can simply specify the target like 192.168.1.22 and for this example i am actually using a tool called as metasploitable i think i have to restart this machine as well So about Metasploitable, Metasploitable is a you know, machine, it is intended to be vulnerable so, so that you guys can practice on it. So now it's working, let's, let's start nmap. So right now I'm not using any kind of tags or any kind of flags to scan. 
So this is just a basic scan that you guys can do using Angular. So it has given us some, you know, some of the ports. It it says okay, these ports are open on the target network. But what what else? What other other tags that we can use? What other things we can try to find out? It can be the service version, I think. So to identify the service version, we can use a tag a flag called as hyphen s, uh, small s and uh, capital V. So this will identify all the all the services that are running on the target. Okay. Let's see. Let's wait. Okay. So as you can see now, uh, I can see the open ports, and I can also see the services that uh, this target machine is using, like Apache version two point two point eight. Then you know, uh, FTP version two point three point four. so you guys can actually uh, gather some of the information so that you guys can actually find a method to you know to exploit it so this comes under banner grabbing okay so what else what else can we find out uh, you know about a target using angular it can be it can be the os version what type of operating system our target is using so for that we we will use you know Uh, hyphen capital O to determine the operating system of our target. Okay, we have received the MAC address, and you know the target is running Linux two point six point X, and the operating system version, you know Linux version. So we are able to find all these things uh, using Nmap about the target. Okay, now there are two different types of ports. a uh, tcp port and udp port and you have different flags to scan for tcp port and udp port so let us try the tcp one it will be hyphen uh, small s capital t and then we need to specify our target so what this will do this will uh, filter out all the tcp port and you know uh, let us know what what tcp port the target is running okay So yeah, we can see that TCP. These are TCP ports that target is running by default. And so these ports are not being configured for UDP. So by default, they are configured to TCP. Okay. Now there is there is one more method of scanning with Nmap uh, that is tel scan or sync scan. Sync scan is also uh, called as half scan because it will be sending the sync packet. and receiving the acknowledgement and resetting the connection so this this sync scan can sometimes be used to bypass a firewall as well so let us try to use it so the tag will be hyphen small s and with capital s and then we need to specify our target Okay, let's let's wait. Let's let's try hyphen p n. We don't want n map to ping, uh, ping our target. Okay, and host is also up. Okay, so uh, in this result, we actually were not able to get any result. I think uh, okay, host is up. But let's see. So sometimes you know uh, these tools can work and. Uh, sometimes they they you know they throw some ty some types of error so let's let's not wa waste our time and let's move further so you know the next type of scan that i actually want to perform and map actually comes with uh, scripts pre installed scripts which are present you know uh in user share and map scripts and if i want to grab something so if i want to enumerate smb so i will be having uh, enumeration or i will i can use you know script which is which can be used to um, you know identify uh, smb versions so i can i can do that by using these scripts 
so let's let's use one of the script let's use smb os discovery dot uh, nsc script now hyphen p hyphen means that i want to use all the i want to scan all the ports or i can i can simply specify port number 445 and i need to specify the target okay so it says that you know port number 445 is open and the service that it is running is microsoft ds its mac address okay and it is hosted in virtual box you know and smb os discovery unix samba they are using samba version 3.0.20 uh debian based and yes domain name is local admin so you know we can try to gather information about a target using nmap or uh, using using all these scripts that are present in nmap by default now yes the basics the basics says that you know if i want to specify a port if i want to scan all the ports i just have to type nmap hyphen p hyphen and i just have to specify the target to scan all the ports okay now if i want to scan my target based on a range then i can specify that as well i want to scan from 100 port number 100 to port number i think Mm, yeah let's take 1000 okay so nmap will only scan ports for starting from 100 to 1000 see it started the scan from uh, port number 11 uh, 111 tcp which is open rcp uh, rpc bind and it ended below uh, you know port number 1000 so this is this was a brief uh, introduction of brief video about nmap how you can use nmap and maps basic okay now the next tool which i will be using will be metasploit metasploit comes pre installed in uh, kali linux and you you guys can use it for network scanning as well so it has you know 2461 exploits 1267 auxiliary scans payloads then encoders then you have some evasion evasion related exploits as well now i have to actually search for auxiliary scanner so these are all the scanners that uh, you know that can be used to scan a target so many types of scanners you know for login uh, for brute forcing you know for apache login for ssh key login for ssh uh, enum users you know to enumerate users now we will try to use one of the method by using we can you know maybe try to scan the target maybe tcp uh, port scan tcp i think okay no results okay so, okay 
okay let's use this one tcp port scan it it is one one four five okay now we have to type show options Okay, we have we need to specify uh, the remote host so let us uh, let us specify the remote host now again uh, show options Okay, the remote uh, remote host you know has been specified and the ports that it it is going to scan will be starting from one to you know ten thousand uh, I just have to uh, type run so it will be scanning you know it now it is saying okay these TCP ports are open so all the TCP ports you know eight seven eight seven is also open port number 25 is also open port number 53 is also open so you can you can you guys can use metasploit for for scanning the target so this 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 is the second tool that you guys can actually use okay now now let's let's move further let's move further let's see uh, what what other things we have Okay, all right guys so that that was it guys for today and if you uh, you know if you like this uh, uh, video maybe you can uh, give us a thumbs up you guys have any doubts you guys can comment out uh, comment down the your doubts or, and you guys can share this video with others you guys can subscribe to our channel and that was it guys for today until next time